the rearrangement of Justice Nguta on the 16th of March 2017 in the controversial money laundering case brought against him by the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the judge appears in court smartly dressed with a fetching red tie. The prosecution's first witness, their third in the proceedings, is a Mr. Tanko Kutana, Deputy Controller General of the Immigration Service. Under examination in chief, Mr. Kutana testifies that on the 7th of December 2016, he was directed to examine travel documents and two standard valid passports caught his attention as they were both issued to Justice Sylvester Nguta. The first passport was issued on the 29th of November 2012 with an expiration date of the 28th of November 2017, and the second issued on the 20th of April 2016, expiring on the 19th of April 2021. The latter was issued as a replacement to the first, which had been declared lost by the defendant. Under cross-examination, the witness confirmed to Defence Counsel that both passports were still in fact valid, as there was no evidence of cancellation. There then followed a visibly difficult period for the witness when asked by defence counsel that if the objective of the defendant was dishonest, would he report the missing passport to the police? After giving evasive answers as to the judge's integrity, the witness admitted that the two passports were not being used interchangeably and in fact there was no evidence of usage at all. Prosecution counsel then asked for the witness to be discharged and Justice Soho adjourned the case for the continuation of trial to the 16th and the 17th of May 2017. Prosecution counsel made no comment, but defense counsel had this to say. Parties are happy, prosecution is happy, defense is happy, the judge, I think, uh, the, the court is happy. So you can see that uh, there's no animosity anywhere. Every party wants to get to the point where we will say justice has been done. And we sincerely believe that justice will be done in this matter. Justice Nguta is arguably the most senior of the judges that were controversially raided by the DSS in October 2016. And his case has created huge debate, not only for the legal profession, but for Nigerians as a whole. So it's no surprise its outcome is anxiously anticipated. Yemisi Prayer, Channels Television News.